Hello again. I'm sure that most of those watching this video will be aware that I'm routinely denounced as a racist and that a large number of people are convinced that I constantly express racist views and opinions on this channel. I, for my part, do not regard myself as a racist, of course. There are at least three possible explanations for this discrepancy, for this state of affairs. One might be that I am wholly lacking in any kind of self-insight and am simply unable to see a facet of my character which is glaringly obvious to everybody else. Another reason might be, of course, that although I am perfectly well aware that I really am a racist demagogue, I feel it prudent to conceal this fact, perhaps to avoid being suspended from YouTube. A third possibility could be that I mean something quite different by the word racist from what those describing me in this way understand by the expression. That this is indeed what is happening seems likely to me because whenever I try and engage in the comments with somebody accusing me of racism, I always begin by asking what they mean by the word. Never once has any of those people replied. They usually say that everybody knows what the word means and that this is simply an attempt on my part to bog down the debate into a sterile discussion of semantics about the meaning of the word. It is not. Here, for example, are two meanings of the word racism, dictionary definitions, if you will. One is the belief that all members of each race possess characteristics, abilities or qualities specific to that race especially so as to distinguish it as being inferior or superior to another race, and another is prejudice, discrimination or antagonism directed against someone of a different race based on such a belief. The second of those two definitions about prejudice and antagonism I regard as irrational behaviour, and I'm certainly not a racist in that sense. I've got not the slightest doubt about that. As for the first one, this is a little harder because although there are no races as such, there are certainly ethnic groups and I have a strong suspicion that these do actually have different qualities, ranging from skin colour and height through to possible differences in cognitive ability. I certainly don't think though that this makes one of those groups superior to another, although it might make them different. Then too, there is a relatively new definition that racism is the systemic oppression of a racial group to the social, economic and political advantage of another. This definition means that in Britain, only white people can be racist, and I can't quite subscribe to that idea. We saw a wonderful instance of that definition in action recently at the Edinburgh Fringe, when a black comedian called Reginald D. Hunter claimed that the Jewish Chronicle had an online paywall, which is, by the way, completely untrue, and then said, typical fucking Jews. The largely left-wing audience roared with laughter. Imagine that if a white comedian stood up on the stage and said, typical fucking Muslims or typical fucking black people. However, because these people subscribe to the idea that only white people can be racist, a black man was able to say such a thing. This is why nobody in Britain knows what anybody else actually means by the word racist, and why any discussion of the idea is accordingly completely sterile. It's why I no longer bother to react when people in the comments here, or indeed elsewhere, describe me as a racist, because I have no idea what they mean to express by the word, and the chances are that neither do they. It's become no more than a meaningless catchphrase, like calling somebody a fascist. 